The formula to country music, there can be, I suppose, but I think that just the old saying of like three chords and the truth is probably your best bet at making country music. I think you have to do something incredibly sincere and incredibly personal, and then you got to mix that with theatricality and storytelling and boldness, and that's kind of what I think country music is about. You know, take who you are at your core and make it super big and super bold, and so you kind of have this intersection of you know, sincerity and camp, essentially. I grew up playing my father's guitar. I think it's a, an incredible instrument for someone to be able to just pick up and, you know, noodle around on. And I don't think you need to have, like, a, any kind of pretentious understanding of it. I think it's, a, it's like the everyman's instrument, you know. I traveled around my whole life. I uh, moved, kept moving, always felt very kind of lonely and, you know, a little bit uh, of an outsider. Uh, but I think my mask has made me feel kind of less lonely, to be honest. I think when I was younger, I was mostly taken with female country musicians because I think the sense of alienation or, you know, the, the struggles felt a bit closer to maybe what I could relate to. Uh, and then, you know, obviously I've got those very blatant country references that are that obviously inspire what I do, you know, kind of the outlaws and that. I think there was a beautiful time in country music where you had like even even women like Patsy or Loretta who had very kind of masculine energy to their music, you know, and they were always telling their husbands not to come home drinking or they're going to beat them up or like, I mean, there was this kind of like beautiful masculinity to the female artists and at the same time you had people like Porter Wagoner or or uh, Graham Parsons you know kind of singing these very male gaze kind of songs but they were wearing you know full head-to-toe rhinestone suits it did kind of blur those lines and I think that's how art should always be taking two things that seem opposite and combining them that's a great place to make art from because you know people think that I'm doing something new but it's all been done before Ha, ha, ha.